so i think this one's gonna have like stuff ew do i show y'all or what <laughs> Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl Jada Shade here, and we're back with another YouTube video. For today's YouTube video, we're going to be doing a summer skincare routine, as you guys can tell by today's title. I haven't done this video. I really plan to do it at the beginning of the summer, but my skin was just. And as y'all can tell by the pimple patches, don't mind. To so everyone who's new to my channel, hi, my name is Jada. And if you're not new and you're just coming back, hi, my babies. Yeah, I don't want to talk too much. I just want to show you guys my morning summer skincare routine and what's working for me, what hasn't been working for me. Just the whole update on my skin. I do want this to kind of be a journey on my channel because acne and dark spots is something that I do deal with. And y'all know we're real transparent on this channel. Without further ado, let's get on to the video. All right, you guys. So like I said, we're raw and transparent. I already have pimple patches on from last night. And I'm actually going to show you guys the pimple patches of my choice that i use whenever i do need to use them i use the cause rx i'm not sure how to pronounce the name but it's gonna be right here it comes honestly with so many pillow patches which is why i really enjoy using them because they usually last me a while and they usually come in packs of three and they come with different sizes as well and me personally i feel like these are the pimple patches that get the job done like these work the best for me so if you guys have any other recommendations let me know so let's take off the pimple patches first hopefully this isn't like too gross but y'all knew what y'all signed up for when i said pimple patches there's not even really any nasty stuff that's my favorite part i love pimple patches because i feel like it's so satisfying whenever you take them off and it's like all the gunky stuff so i think this one's gonna have like stuff Ew. Do I show y'all or what? Oops. So first thing I always do is wash my hands because how you finna wash your face and clean your face with bacteria on your hands are dirty. The math is not mathing. So the first thing I do is wash my hands. The first thing I like to do is I like to go in with warm water and that just opens up my pores so all the products that I put on can really get into the skin. As I do this, I'm going to like treat this as like if y'all ever watched like the Vogue makeup tutorials, I'm just going to kind of talk to y'all about my skincare journey, what's been working for me, what hasn't been working for me, life updates. Y'all are the girls, y'all know what's up. Y'all, literally getting water on your wrist is like the most humbling thing ever i cannot stand it i really want to get those like little things to put on there because it literally just i can't i really can't going with my hydrating cerave cleanser this is my girl i've been using her for a while i really want to try the la roche pose cleanser so if any of y'all use it let me know because i do have sensitive skin and i like to use very gentle products nothing too harsh just something that's going you know clean my skin so yeah, but this is my girl. I've been rocking with her for a couple of years now. So as I'm putting on my cleanser, I don't want to talk to y'all about like my skin. Like, oh my gosh, y'all, my skin is actually the definition of like bipolar. Like one day my skin is like good, she's great actually. And then the next day she's just like, girl, psych. Like, I don't know, like right now my skin is not doing that good to be honest. I've been breaking out a lot. Like, I don't know. I'm trying to get on my gut health Zoom and do that type of thing. But honestly, I have not been doing that well. I, I've been trying though. Know. My acne was going away, but like, lately I've been having more pimples and like breakouts than usual. I don't know. My skin didn't actually start like flaring up really bad. And I didn't start having hormonal acne until like middle school. Honestly, if you want to be real, I didn't start having like acne problems until I actually started using stuff on my face. And now we're going to wash this off with some warm water. Oh. Now that I've wiped off my cleanser, my skin now should be pretty damp and that's usually when I like to like best apply my products. Some days it depends on the mood that I'm in. Usually in the morning time, next I go in with my azelic acid and what azelic acid does, it usually just focuses on the hormonal acne and gets rid of acne and so yeah, that's what I use it for. 
azelaic acid sometimes i find it working really well with my skin and then sometimes i'm like is this even working like uh when i was younger and i dealt with it it didn't really bother me but like now that i'm getting older it kind of does bother me but it's not like something i'm like super insecure about like if somebody pointed out i'm gonna just be like oh like girl it's probably about acne and i still look good as the fuck so like it is what it is but like just for myself sometimes it gets frustrating because i really do try to stay on top of my skincare and i hear lots of people say this works for them next to a retinoid like in my nighttime routine i use one retinoid but it's not like i don't think it's like the strongest strand because there's different type of retinoids if you guys really get into skincare it's really perplexed next thing that i'm gonna go in with i actually just started using which is the topicals brightening clearing serum i use this to get rid of my dark spots this has six main ingredients in them that all help get rid of dark spots with also being gentle on the skin those ingredients are kojic acid trinamix acid melatonin niacinamide licorice root and exilic acid and usually you just start off using it once a week until you build up you know your skin's tolerance to using it every single day and i definitely have been noticing a difference since i've been using it and all in all i love topicals i just hear nothing but good things topicals is a brand that helps you feel good about your skin if you guys want to use my discount code sade to get 10 percent off your next purchase it will be in the description down below so yeah i've been using this consistently for like i want to say two weeks now and i definitely have noticed my like my not as stubborn dark spots have been getting way way better so with this i don't put it all over my face i just put it on like the dark spots which i'm gonna show y'all see like majority of my dark spots are over here like i'm pretty sure on camera y'all can see them i think i actually told y'all i've been to the dermatologist like three times and i've got two different prescriptions and both of those prescriptions did not work for my face actually the worst the first one was like the worst like my face splurged for months and i was doing it consistently like that was where my consistency i felt like really started when it comes to skincare like i was not playing and my acne was just getting worse. For me, the most sensitive spot like on my face for acne is like my T-zone. The T-zone is naturally sensitive anyways for most people, especially when it comes to oils. So I'm not gonna lie, my skincare routine in the morning is very, very simple, not too complex. I try not to do too much. The next I'm going in with is the Madagascar Centella Water Fit Sun Serum SPF 50 Plus. And when it comes to sunscreen, that's usually what I go for. My dermatologist recommended 50 SPF 50 and up. So that's what I use. And whenever I apply it, I feel like this is very controversial. Some people apply like one whole finger, two whole fingers. I personally just do one. I do one finger because two fingers i feel like is a little od and that's gonna clog your pores even more i'd rather just reapply my sunscreen like the only time i really do two fingers is when i know it's extra hot that day or like i'm gonna be in the sun all all day then i'll go ahead and apply two but like the days i'm in the house i just kind of i just do one but it's also very important because sunscreen helps you get rid of dark spots and it also protects your skin from UV rays, which prevents wrinkles, sun cancer, all that stuff we don't want, basically. And I use my sunscreen as a moisturizer as well because it is very moisturizing. And the thing I like about the sunscreen, it doesn't leave a white cast. This is pretty much it. If you guys know any good products for sensitive skin and to get rid of pimples, please let your girl know. I'm always just trying to be transparent on this channel and I did want to show you guys my summer morning routine because I have showed you guys my night routine before. So, um, had to make some shapes. This was just a video adding on to, I don't want to say my skincare series because I don't know how many other videos I'll be making on skincare but i definitely wanted to open this up to be a safe place to talk about skincare and acne and dark spots on here so if you guys want to see more videos like this make sure you guys like comment and subscribe follow my social medias in the description down below i love you guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next youtube video bye y'all